right now at six, thousands of educators in San Francisco on the verge of going on strike after an overwhelming majority cast their votes in favor of one last night. Thank you for joining us here on Cromford News at Six. I'm Noelle Bello. I'm Ken Wayne. Members in the San Francisco Teachers Union voting to authorize a strike if the school district doesn't meet their demands. Crown Force Gail Ong here in the studio with the latest. Gail. Ken Noel, the San Francisco Unified School District is negotiating with two unions right now, the teachers and classified staff unions. Over 90% of those members voted in support of a strike. When we fight, we win! As of Thursday, more than 3,000 members of the United Educators of San Francisco Union voted to authorize a teacher's strike. It is very clear that the overwhelming number of our members are making their voice heard that the current offer on the table is not something we can settle for. The union is calling for smaller class sizes and higher pay. The district has agreed to some raises, but not enough to meet the union's demands. Negotiations between the two sides have been going on for the past six months. I think a big problem is understaffing of schools right now. Maya Pigelli supports the teachers. She is a parent of a fourth and seventh grader and a parent action committee member at San Francisco Community School. Our middle school does not have a math teacher. We just onboarded a social worker for the school like today, which is 50 some days into the school year. Um, right now our counselor is acting as our math teacher, so we don't have a counselor. Pigelli joined teachers and classified workers outside the San Francisco Unified School District office Thursday afternoon. We need employees that want to work here and the district needs to properly pay them and retain us. Also negotiating a separate contract with the school district, Rafael Picasso, president of SEIU 1021, who represents the district's classified staff, which includes custodians and cafeteria workers. 99.5% voted in support of a possible strike. We love our students. We don't want to hurt our students and their education. The pandemic did that enough. We want to create better brains for our future teachers that may come out of the school district, our future construction workers, IT workers, etc. A statement from the school district reads in part, quote, we are working diligently and in good faith to reach an agreement with our labor partners. The district also claims they will prioritize financial decisions that most directly benefit student experiences. And as for next steps on a possible strike, union members are required to vote a second time around to allow a strike. Teachers and workers say all this depends on what happens on Monday when the two sides return to the bargaining table. Gail Ong, Cron 4 News.